Hello, students. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes? Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and start. I'm sorry, but um, I, I have a an error message. The see unable to launch video meeting. When possible, please restart your computer again. Y no me dejaba, no me dejaba ingresar a la reunión. Okay, well, vamos a, eh, mañana voy a, voy a iniciar unos 20 minutos antes para el día de mañana. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and start. Let's talk about, um, let's talk about some of the things that you have been doing, and we're going to use frequency adverbs. Tell me some of the things that you've been doing um, to, to fight this, uh, this virus, this coronavirus. What are some things that you have been doing? Now, you can say, I usually, sometimes, always, frequently, uh, seldomly, rarely. Do you remember the adverbs that we use? Yes. Okay, so tell me something that you have been doing. To, to fight this uh, coronavirus to, to stay safe. Hmm? Do you remember the frequency adverbs? Lo que estudiamos la semana pasada, the frequency adverbs? Do you remember? No se acuerdan el frequency adverbs. Okay, let me show you. Okay, let me share my computer with you. Let's uh let me show you the frequency adverbs, the ones that we study. Do you remember always, often, sometimes? Usually. Huh? Do you remember? Usually. Usually, correct. Okay. So let me see. Uh, I have a I think I have a a picture. Um, let me find it. You can also go to Google and put frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs, aquí está. So this is the picture that we were looking at, remember? I'm going to uh, save it. And yes. Like we can say, I usually wash my hands. Yes, you can say that. Yes, that's why you usually, it's a good recommendation, right? To stay, stay, is to stay safe so that you will not get sick, right? Evitar yeah. el virus, right? What do you usually do? I usually wipe, wash my hands, wash my right? Hand. Okay. I often wash my hands, yeah? Jose, tell me something that you 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 have been doing frequently. Hmm? Okay. No te escucha, Jose. Okay, let me open my word. Voy a abrir word so that you you guys can know how to do this. Esto ya lo vimos. Esto Solo estamos repasando la semana pasada. This was section one. Okay. So we, we put the frequency adverb first, and then we put the set the the verb. For example, a, alguien dijo, I usually wash my hands. Okay. Very good. So that person use the verb wash okay very good i tell verbal what is the frequency adverb that the person use usually usually okay lo pueden hacer ustedes claro que sí i know you can do it so tell me something that you have been doing let's go back to the picture Something that you have been doing. 
I usually have alcohol gel in my bag. Very good. That's a very good recommendation. Uh, Katia, something that you have been doing? Um, I usually use alcohol gel in my, in my, ha my hands. Okay, good, good. Very good. What else? Who else do we have here? Um, let's see, William? Something that you have been doing? And sometimes go play football. Okay, good. That's good. That's correct. What about the, the virus, William? To avoid the, cor the coronavirus, right? Hay ciertas recomendaciones que nos han dicho, ¿va? What do you usually do? What, what do you do often do? Sometimes I wash the hands, uh, hand, hand, hand. Manu. Hands. Mm -hmm. Hand. Okay, very good. Jose, so sometimes. Sometimes I wash the hand. Wash my hand. Wash the hand. Okay, very good. Okay, this is correct also. Aquí está el verbo. Wash. This is correct too. You can put it at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. Okay. What else? Other recommendations? What about never? Something that you should never do. Nos han dicho, ¿verdad? Los doctores, recomendaciones de lo que no tenemos que hacer. I never go to the work if I have a flu. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Aquí está never and go, the verb. Okay, very good. Okay. What else? Another recommendation. Nos han dicho ciertas cosas no hacer. What should we not do? Hmm? Face. Hmm? ¿Qué es lo que no tenemos que hacer? Hmm? Never touch my, my face. Okay, never touch my my head my my face okay never touch my face with my hands okay in, uh, me tengo que tocar la cara los ojos no all right no never okay never touch your eyes aquí puedo hablar de mí mismo o dar recomendaciones oh, never mm -hmm. touch your eyes you your eyes and the nose. Okay. So I'm going to put eyes and nose. Very good. And what nose. else? Let's go back to the picture. What else? Okay. What about uh, time expressions? There was other frequency verbs that we saw that were, for example, once a week, once a day, twice a day, three times a day. Do you remember? También esas? Yeah, estaban ahí. Yes, Section yes. one. Do you remember? Okay. So tell me, how many times do you wash your hands? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> uh, how many times? I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe times five, ten times a day more, the better. Okay? I wash my hands uh, ten times, times a day. A day. Okay? Good, good. Very good. How about often? Yeah, can I use often? I often wash my hands. Yes? Todas estas son recomendaciones. And this is from the vocabulary, right? That we saw. Okay? Let me show you the vocabulary. 
Les voy a enseñar la presentación otra vez. The one that we did. Okay. Uh, how often? I think we have a recommendation here. Ah, this. Do you remember this? How often do you work out? Oh, we can change it, right? How often do you wash your hands? Every day, twice a week, not very often. Now we're doing it more frequently, right? Okay. So you can say, I wash my hands uh, every, day. Maybe every day. Yes. Hey, I wash my hands three times in the morning, three times in the afternoon, three times in at nighttime. Okay. I never touch my face. Okay. Very good. So what we're going to do for this activity that we're going to do, we're going to um, work in groups. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We have six people. So we're going to work in two groups, uh, three groups of two. And what you're going to do with your partner is give me a list of recommendations. Okay. You're going to give me some recommendations. And you, you have to use the frequency adverbs. So you have to use usually. Now, do you remember when we give recommendations? Usamos el moro. For example, you should. You can. You could. You have to. Todos esos son moros. Okay? To give recommendations. Okay? You should wash your hands. 10 times a day, okay? You should avoid blah, blah, blah. No se la voy a dar, pero ustedes tienen que pensarlo, all right? So you're going to give recommendations, okay? How many recommendations? At least five recommendations. If you have more, excellent, okay? So I'm going to divide the groups. Uh -huh. Recommendation about the coronavirus or? Oh. Yeah, 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 uh -huh. recommendations. Cómo evitar, ¿verdad? enfermarnos, cómo evitar, todo lo que nos han dicho en la televisión, lo que han leído. Very good, okay, so let me see, um, one, two, three, four, five, alguien se acaba de ir, creo que Betsy se desconectó. Ajá. Uh -huh. We will never, hmm? never ignore the instruction of the authority. Eh, repeat, con never, what? Never ignore the instruction of the authorities, autoridades. Ah, never follow the instructions. No, you have to follow the instructions. No yeah. ignorar las instrucciones. Ah? Nunca ignorar las instrucciones de las autoridades. Ah, ah, never ignore and ignore. Exactly. Ah, okay, very good. All right, very good. So you have one there. Okay, I'm going to put you in two groups. Delen, accept the invitation and go. Accept the invitation, go to your groups. Okay. Eh, let's see, Jose, dele, acepte la invitación para ir al grupo. Betsy, acepte la invitación para ir al grupo. Go. Betsy, Jose, acepte la invitación para ir al grupo. Ahí está. Okay, very good. So we have uh, Jose, William, and Bessie. Okay, you have to use the motto. You should, you could, you have to, you must. Todas esas son motos to give me an instruction. 
Okay. Give me an instruction okay. about recommendations to avoid coronavirus. Okay. Yes. Questions? No, teacher. Okay. Entonces empiecen a trabajar juntos in the list. Five. Five recommendations. Okay. Okay. Oh, Mr. Jose. No, estar en lugares con muchas personas. No los escucho hablar. ¿Qué pasó? Ahorita Tienen que estoy, trabajar juntos. La estoy está armando, dicho. ¿Ah? La estoy armando. No, pero la cosa no es solamente tú. La cosa es que lo, entre los dos trabajen juntos. La lista no es solamente tuya, sino que los dos trabajen en, la, en una lista. Coji, cubrirse la boca al toser. In English. How do you say it in English? Cover, cover you mouth. Okay. Way, go, go, pero, cubrir. <laughs> What? Okay, pero ¿cómo, ¿cómo usamos el frequency adverb? En eso estoy. <laughs> mm, entonces, no, no. ¿ya vio no. esa parte de la, ya vio la sección 1? No, de hecho estoy empezando con, con mis pruebas nuevamente porque me, me hicieron de nuevo el usuario. Mm. Okay, te, ¿Te crearon un nuevo usuario? Sí, sí, me lo crearon de nuevo sí, porque pero... no, no, no podía entrar. Ah, pero se supone que ya me la sección que uno, la tenía que terminar la semana pasada. Ajá, correcto. Ok, ok, aquí estamos para trabajar. So, vamos a trabajar juntos, ok? Cinco recomendaciones. Okay. Frequency adverbs. You should, you could, you have to. And then frequency adverb. Five recommendations, ok? Five mm -hmm. minutes. Tienen cinco minutos para terminar. Five minutes. Ok. You cannot touch face and... Mouse, 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 mouse. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. Yo... Ya tienen una lista de cinco. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. No, Five, no minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes. <Okay>. Finish. <laughs> finish. Yeah, finish. <laughs> okay. Okay. Give me, give me two minutes. Teacher. Uh -huh. Eh, la palabra este cubrirse sería como cover. Cover, yes. Cover your mouth. Mm -hmm. eh, for example, you shall always cover your mouth in this. Always cover your mouth when you sneeze. No es el nariz, ¿verdad? Ah. No, es nariz, ¿verdad? Nose. 
Close your mouth in now saying. Mm -hmm. Never let her is valid. <laughs> Never call, never, never come from of uh, another person. No, tampoco. El otro grupo ya terminó. Ready? Ya casi, ya casi. Ok, one minute. One minute. You cannot go in the front of another person. No, uh, no, ando perdido. Ok, ok, de regreso. Ok, so we have two groups. And uh, I think Betsy, Betsy had a problem with the computer. Eh, estaba saliendo. Uh, I think she had a problem, ok. Uh, nos acaba de mandar una, una nota ahí. Ok, very good. So we have William and, and Jose. We have Nineveh, Gladys. And Katia. Okay, very good. So, uh, Katia, your group, you can go first. Okay. Uh, Katia, a group of Katia, Gladys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a uh, recommendation? You can drink orange juice. One more time, repeat. You can drink orange juice. Okay. Very juice. good. Podemos agregarle un, eh, un frequency adverb allí? A esa oración? You can always. Okay, you can always. Drink orange juice. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, and num number two? You should not go to the work if which you should not go to the work if uh, are sick. Yes, very good. So can we put a, a frequency adverb? Yes, right? Never. You, you should not never. Mm -hmm. no. You should never you go should to work. Uh, <laughs> you should mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, good. Okay. That's a very good, very good recommendation. You should never go to work if you are sick. Okay, another one, number uh, three. Never give kisses and hugs. Never give kisses and hugs, yes. Good, good. Another one, number four. 
you should take vitamin C. <laughs> yes, okay, very good. Every day. <laughs> every day, ahí está, very good. You should take <laughs> vitamin C every day. Good, good. And one more. Ever can say in fake, fake news. Repeat, guys. We never can say in fake news. Okay. We never can saying. Saying. Decir. Uh -huh. uh, no. No. Uh, Quieres decir como, como, como no, que no, no creer. Digamos, no. Nunca digamos noticias falsas. Ah, ok. You should never. Uh, poner you should never fake news me gusta la palabra spread spread es como divulgar spread spread you should spread? never spread fake, fake news ¿Cómo se escribe eso s p r e a d ah como sandwich spread ajá, spread ajá. spread <laughs> spread es como divulgar como Como, como tirar, uh, <laughs> ¿verdad? Okay. So, yes, so sometimes you say, eh, eh, un, en inglés dicen cuando, cuando están eh, divulgando eh, chismes, they say spreading gossip. Spreading okay. gossip. Cuando están eh, la gente chismeando. Spreading? So, in, in, in English you can say spreading gossip. Gossip. Okay. Gossip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so now there's a lot of people, right? What Gladys is saying, a lot of people they put fake news, right? In in the in, in the social media, right? They say cualquier yes. cosa, right? Whatever. I saw a person died. Right? All right. Mm -hmm. They're just repeating. That's very good, what Gladys said, because the, the president said, if you hear something, confirm, right? If you hear something, traten de buscar la manera de confirmar, confirm the information. Okay, very good. Uh, they, you gave me five recommendations, excellent. Jose, William, what about you? Uh, you should always cover your mouth and nose. Yes. Very good. You should always cover your mouth, right? If you're going to cough, cover your mouth, right? Or go like this, right? Good. Number two? Mr. Jose. Jose, number two? Sorry, no, no. Uh... Don't stop using a alcohol work way. And never stop using alcohol gel. Alcohol gel or work way. Or? Never. Oh, always, always. Work way. Okay. Always. So, me quieres decir, nunca deje de usar alcohol gel o siempre use alcohol gel? ¿Qué me quieres decir? Eh, no, nunca dejar de usar alcohol gel. Never stop using. Never. Uh -huh. Never stop using. Okay, very good. Number three. I usually say action against the virus. Okay. What about, eh, si me quieres dar a mí la recomendación? Yes. Mm. Mr. Hassan. It's the same, right? You only change, uh, you should. Never wait hand. Sorry, sorry, never, never wave hand. Wave hand? Wave hand. Nunca saludar de manos. Ah, wave is this, look. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Esto es wave. Wave, ajá, uh -huh, wave. No, pero no me quieres decir no. eso, ¿verdad? Tú me quieres no, decir no, cuándo? Saludar. Never wave hand. How do you Nunca say it? Nunca saludar de manos. Okay, yes, yo me lo puedo en español, but how do you say it in English? William, do you know? Yeah. Hand? Finish? Never hand with it? No, ¿cómo se dice saludo de mano? 
Hand. Hand wave. No, hand wave, no. Wave no. es esto. Sí, 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 ok, ok, sorry. Hand. Shake. Share, share. Shake. Hand shake. Shake. No, repeat. Hand no. shake. Shake. No. Shake. Repeat. Hand shake. Shake. No. Shake. Está diciendo no. solamente shake. Mm -hmm. Shake es moverse, temblar. <laughs> Hand shake. Tiene que estar juntas las dos palabras. Hand shake. Repeat, Jose. Shake. Shake. Solo está diciendo lo último. Handshake. William, shake. repeat. Handshake. Handshake. Nineve, handshake. Handshake. Yes. Gladys, how do you say it? Handshake. Yes. Katia? Handshake. Handshake. Hand Jose? Handshake. Hand handshake. Ahí está. Ahí está. Handshake. Ahí está. Yes. So, the recommendation is never, never use handshake. Ahí está. I often travel to work with Pecho. No te escucho nada, William. Ok, repeat. I often uh -huh. travel to work with protection. Ah, ok. I often travel to work with protection. Yes. Pero si me quedé dar esa recomendación a mí, no uses tú, sino que tenés que decirme a mí la recomendación. How do you say it? Do you often travel to work with protection? No, you should. You should, you should not often. You should or you or could, you have to, cualquiera de esas. Repeat now. You often. Travel to work with protection. You should often travel to work with protection. You, you uh, should often travel to work with protection. Yes, very good. La última, last one. Never stop wearing, wearing a mask. Never stop wearing a mask. Okay, excellent, very good. Let me share my computer screen with you. Let's do exercise uh 2.6 the listening exercise did you see the the picture i sent you in whatsapp ya la vieron yes like this okay ah uh, yes we're going to listen to a conversation of um uh let me see let me see laura and john okay now laura john and los dos you say in english both both both, both. But, okay, so boring time. Who had a boring time? Had a good time. Who had a good time? Met an old friend. Who met an old friend? Got home late. Who got home late? Okay, so you're going to listen here. Ya le voy a dar play. And you're going to find out the name of the person. So number one, who had a boring time? Number two, who had a good time? Number three, who met a no friend? Number four, who got home late? Okay? So we're going to listen to the conversation. Let me see. Okay. There was a problem playing this audio file. Deja ver si lo puedo descargar. El file. Maybe now, yes. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. 
I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, very good. Who had a boring time? Lara or John? Boring, aburrido. John. Boring. John. John. Yes. Who had a good time? Laura or John? Laura. Laura. Yes, good job. Who, who met an old friend? Laura. Laura, yes. Uh, number four, I didn't listen. Maybe you did. Who got home late? Laura, John, or both? Both. I think they say both, right? Let's listen one more time. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, everything is correct. What about number four? Who got home late? Both. Both. Yes. Okay, let's check. Good job. Okay, very good. So now let's go to the next lesson. This is lesson uh, 2.4. No sé si ya la terminaron. Deberían de ya obrar esta lección. Okay? You're going to use did, the auxiliary verb did. Remember, if you use did, los verbos que siguen están en su estado normal, en su eh, verbo base. Okay, for example, number one, did you stay? This one, right? Did you stay? El verbo no cambia, ¿por qué? Porque ya tengo did. Okay, very good. So, you have to complete this lesson. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, 2.7. Let's go to 2.8. Eh, no tengo mucho tiempo, pero se la voy a dejar para, para eh, tarea. 2.8, okay? Discussion. And let's listen to it. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation with Pastor B if used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, very good. So this lesson here, uh, you have to find the past of verb B. Okay. Do you know what is the past of the verb to be? Do you know? Este cuadrito nos va a ayudar, so se lo voy a mandar. Okay. And what's up? It's going to help you for the next lesson. So, to a lesson 
She's going to explain in the next video. Ella va a explicar el past del verb to be. Yo creo que ya se lo pueden. The verb to be is am, is, and are, right? So, what is the past of is? What is the past of was. is? Was. Very good. What is the past of are? Where. Where. Very good. Very good. So, eh, quiero que noten algo aquí in the, in, the, in the video. Let me see. So, remember here in this section, uh, something very important para, para formular las preguntas for the verb to be, lo ponemos al inicio, right? Were they happy? Very good. So, lo ponemos al principio. Forma afirmativa, en forma positiva, they were happy. She was rich. Question, we change it. We put it at the beginning, right? Were they happy? Was she rich? Okay. Now, WH questions and the verb to be, past. So, you say, where was she sick? Okay. Why was he tired? Very good. Okay. So, ponemos el, el WH primero y después el verb to be. Después el sujeto. Y después el complemento. Okay. So, pueden usar este cuadrito para el siguiente video. Okay. Eh, mañana les voy a dar un poquito más tiempo ya que nos perdimos 20 minutos ahora. Okay. So, tomorrow... Podemos ingresar un poquito más temprano. ¿Ok? Eh, mi teacher, uh -huh. hay una pregunta de la 1.11 que uh -huh. yo traté de hacerla de cualquier manera y, y sale incorrecta. Pero tal vez la podemos revisar mañana. Porque le pregunté igual a Nínive y igual no le salió. Ok, te la voy sí. a revisar. Después de esta clase que voy a tener ahorita, la voy a revisar. Y te mando, y les mando okay. la, la respuesta. ¿Ok? All right, take care. Okay, seguro, yes. no salgan de la casa si no tienen que salir. Oh. <laughs> Lávense las manos, sigan, sigan la, las recomendaciones que me dieron. Encierro total. En <laughs> serio, mental. Hey, pero tienen Se tiempo para estudiar. Yo, yo lo que voy a hacer es tomar unos cursos yo también de Insafor. Cursos adicionales, para otras cosas que quiero. Qué estudiar. bueno. Nosotros trabajamos todavía. Pero, pero ya van a tener más tiempo y va, primero Dios, este, pero manténgase seguro, ¿verdad? Allá afuera. Sí. Okay. Take care. Be Take safe. care. Yes. Ok. I'll see you later, ok? Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.